Exciting night for ast astronomy buffs that can see the stars, of course. Yeah, that is the big catch on this story because the annual Perseid meteor shower peaks tonight. And Chief Meteorologist Christy Henderson explains what that's all about. We've had lots of rain showers around here lately, but it's only once a year that we can watch the Perseid meteor shower. It happens when the Earth plows through a debris field left from a comet. The comet Swift Tuttle takes 133 years to orbit the sun, and while we don't see the comet itself, we do see the debris that it leaves behind. That debris can range in size on average from a grain of sand to some grape nut cereal. During an average year, sky gazers can count anywhere from one to two of these bits per minute as they burn up across the sky. This year's count could be double that thanks to a planet two orbits away, Jupiter. So once every 12 years, Jupiter passes near its debris field. And Jupiter is so big and massive that its gravity pulls that material a little bit off its normal path. And that pull is enough to make more meteors for us. So we're passing through a denser part of it than we normally do. Look northeast close to midnight to see the meteor slamming into the Earth's atmosphere at 37 miles per second. You don't need a telescope, but you do need Need clear skies. And that may be the deal breaker for us. The weather isn't as dependable as this meteor shower is, and clouds may be around and abundant all the way into Friday morning. For us this time, the best way to view this shower will be from a television instead of a telescope. I'm Chief Meteorologist Christy Henderson, 7 News.